All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today's video is going to be our squad update V2 breakdown, first patch impressions, and generally talking about my thoughts about squad right now, just because we're in a, I, I feel like we're in a weird stage right now. So for those of you that don't know, squad V2 just dropped, which is the biggest update since release. And it's the only update we've gotten since release, uh, you know, six plus months ago. Um, and it's it's been a while. Now there is a lot in this patch. But you're going to get from this video that my general sentiment of, of squad right now is just... It, it's been um, borderline disappointing slash underwhelming. And, you know, we, we've we've talked about this a lot over on the Command Comms podcast. Squad did make it to release. They pushed out, you know, the majority of the features that they wanted to push out. And they've done a good job so far. So I don't want you guys to take this video as me just coming off and bashing squad just to bash squad. I put 3,000 hours plus into this game gotten more than my money's worth um you know from playing the game i've built my channel off of this game it's just i guess i i would say sad or <laughs> disappointing to see where the game is now and how the studio is performing and i i do want to have faith and hope that you know in the future and with further updates we're going to get them more rapidly it's going to completely change from here and out because it, they got over v2 which is supposedly this big hurdle for them but let's go ahead and talk about what was in this update and just talk about squad in general so first off they added a new map in v2 this is pretty nice uh this is more or less a rework of the nanny map but it is a good map just brand new it's it's got a lot of different terrain there's a lot of cool micro terrain um, the environment looks really nice the you've got woodland you've got open areas you've got city you've got uh, a unique kind of i guess environment with all of the tech and all of the industrial buildings and unique satellite dishes and oil rig stuff going on so it feels new it definitely feels new because the assets around the map are different than the rest of the game and the environment is so unique in that way so I definitely do enjoy um, this new Goose Bay. And this, like I said before, replaces Nanny, which was an older map that they did have. So it's not necessarily a completely new map, but it does play very, uh, very differently. So next thing that we're going to talk about is the biggest thing, the biggest thing in this patch was the layer overhaul system. Now, what they did was they completely redid how all the maps and how the teams and how all the game modes were selected. Um, they completely reworked it so it's faster to load in. There's a lot of opportunities for randomization. You can pick, uh, you can have map voting, not yet, but they've made it so that eventually we will have map voting, have team voting, and you'll be able to pick and vote at the end of every game what you want to, to play as for the next round. Now, this was something that they had been talking about for a while. And just like on the Command Comms podcast, I kept on saying, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. Because just I, <laughs> just as I kind of predicted with V2 release, we're not even getting team or map voting. That's been disabled until they fix it. So despite all the delays for this patch, it didn't even come out. So all for all intents and purposes right now, the map layer overhaul does nothing for us aside from increase or decrease, excuse me, a load in times for these maps and, and for the game. So that's a plus, most definitely, but the major reasons uh, for this overhaul, we aren't going to see them until they patch them in later. So I don't know when they'll fix that problem. I'm not sure what kind of technical issues they are having right now uh, with delaying map voting, because this was one of the things that was, well, like, oh, V2, we're gonna get map voting and team voting and stuff. And we didn't even really get it. So God knows when this is coming out um, with the way that we've seen this patch go. I truly, truly hope that the future patches do come out um, fast and, and then they keep hot fixing and they keep coming out and rolling things out as they're ready. And that's what Karm uh, from their QA team has said is that they do plan on rolling out patches as things are ready rather than waiting for these huge patches that take literal months to prepare and deploy. So we'll see what happens here, but I really want to see this because this will greatly um, change up the game as far as replayability because now it's not the same layer, the same map, the same team every single time. You get different game mode, different map, different teams because what they've also done is create a regiments or, or even brigades that are specialized. Like you have your infantry, your airborne, your armor, and every platoon loadout can be chosen by the team the teams in the voting phase before so hopefully this gets rolled out as soon as possible because it does sound really cool it sounds really awesome but 
I'll believe it when I see it, and God knows when this is going to get rolled out. Hopefully it's soon. Um, graphic settings rework. I don't really care too much about this, but you can go in and change a whole bunch of different settings now if you really want to. You can go through and read this all on your own. I'll leave a link in the description down below, uh, but a whole bunch of different settings and stuff right now. Uh, network optimization. So before in V1, the helicopters would stutter significantly. Uh, now, supposedly, that is fixed, or at least fixed, um, or at least it looks better. It's a little bit smoother. I, I still have getting reports that helicopters are still jittery, but it is better than V1. So good job there. Performance optimizations. I was on the subreddit a little bit, and even just from my uh, four hours or so playing V2 already, I haven't noticed any large, you know, any crazy significant performance gains. I've even heard of people losing performance. Um, so this is kind of, it's not really definitive on, on how much performance people are getting out of this latest patch. Uh, but let me know in the down in the comments if you guys are getting more or less frames this patch because I personally I haven't seen too much of uh, of a gain here. Um, Steel series game sense LED lighting. I don't even care about that. Have spawn activation delay. Now this was another game changing patch that they or game changing fix that they tried to roll out in this patch. It's it's a 10 second delay on when your hab goes up or when it gets overrun. 10 seconds. This in the grand scheme of of squad gameplay I feel is is incredibly irrelevant this might affect some competitive games where people are min maxing the hell out of out of their deployments and out of hab hab and fob placements but for the general vanilla player 10 seconds means jack diddly squat um <laughs> it's just maybe if it was 30 that would be a little bit more i think significant but 10 seconds is nothing you just have to wait 10 more seconds before you spawn in and like their whole explanation here about oh, how it's supposed to stop you know people from deploying fobs really close and all that um like I said, unless the whole team is on board and it's a competitive game, you don't really see this too often in public matches that it's too hard to coordinate and 10 seconds isn't going to stop it because you'd have to be really coordinated on the other team to stop this. And that coordination, unfortunately, is not really seen in vanilla public matches. So maybe this is just them testing the system and eventually they increase that counter up from 10 seconds and we have a more significant change in gameplay. But I honestly, in my four hours of play, like this never, this never became a thing. This was, this was borderline irrelevant. Helicopter flight improvements, they completely rewrote all of the code I've heard for the helicopter flight model. Um, people are still getting used to it. They're still learning. Uh, a lot of people don't like it because it means that they have to relearn a flight model and they've already learned a lot about it. And then a lot of people do like it because they feel like it's a little bit more realis realistic. So we'll see how this kind of um, balances out in the next couple of weeks. Deployables refundable and infantry kits refundable. This is a good change. It's going to make the games a little bit more forgiving in case you accidentally drop something down. Or you accidentally take the wrong kit. You now get refunded 80% of either the ammo cost or the deployable cost, depending on what happened. Um, so this is a good kind of mulligan, I guess you could say. So it's definitely better to kind of ease out the games and make them a little bit more consistent, even with people, you know, making mistakes. Um, main brace, main base protection. It's okay. Uh, ticket changes here. Body dragging tweaks. This is kind of interesting just because I never body dragged really too much before in V1, mainly because it would just auto drop the body sometimes if you move too quickly or look too far away. Apparently they fixed this. So maybe we'll see people dragging other people more, but we'll all see. Now, this is where I guess the meat of this patch is. It's the new infantry and vehicles, and there are a significant amount of new vehicles and weapons. So let's get straight into it. We have the Mosin Gaunt, which you'll see later on in this video. It It's pretty gnarly. It, it It's a one shot kill. I think the sound is a little bit too flat. It's a little bit underwhelming, I guess, for a Mosin. I feel like it should be a little bit more bassy. Um, the RPD is pretty cool. The RPG 28 is pretty gnarly uh, for the... <laughs> god look at this it just it flies straight it does a ton of damage it's got an optic on it this thing this thing is going to destroy vehicles um we got the new end law for the great british um for or for great britain which means that they now have a semi locking launcher now it's not a true lock it's just going to uh, translate your your holdover or your your uh your lead to the missile in flight uh, or to the rocket in flight so it's not necessarily like heat seeking or anything like that it'll just track the amount of time that you're moving your mouse and it'll continue that uh, momentum with the rocket so as you can see here you just get that lead as long as the vehicle is still moving in the same direction at the same speed rocket will connect uh, new weapons for the canadians honestly i don't really notice too much of a difference between the c7 and the c8 aside from small small aesthetic differences so i guess that's cool um, they updated the optics or the reticle for the hollow and the, uh, 
these sites here. So kind of kind of cool, but nothing really game changing. This is really nice. I really do like this new Elkan uh, 4X for the great um, Britain uh, L85s. This is going to be really nice. I really like how clean this picture uh, is. So hopefully we get to use a lot more of that. But a lot of the changes, as you'll notice, as far as weapons and uh, vehicles are going to be specifically to the insurgents and to the British. So if you're playing anything else, the Russians, the Americans, um, the militia, you're not really going to notice any difference from V1. It's going to feel just like the same. So that's kind of it's kind of disappointing because it means some of these factions just feel like they didn't get updated at all or anything new. Um, but it is good, I guess, to some extent that these two factions are getting newer stuff, uh, period. Um, new effects for explosions from grenades, frags, and UGLs. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of fixes. This this patch, V2, felt like a major bug fix packs, uh, patch, which is really good. But for six months, I, I kind of want more meat as far as content in this or game-changing um, you know, features and, and, and systems in, in a patch like this in V2. Because uh, this feels like a patch you should you shouldn't be waiting six months to get really. But maybe it's just a bug fix patch. Hopefully, like we said, and like I'll say later on in the video, moving forward from B2, we should hopefully see a lot more progress much faster uh, with this studio with OWI. So new vehicles. There's a ton of new vehicles for the insurgents, a whole bunch of new technicals. They redid the technical model into this uh, this pickup truck here. Um, you've got anything from like BMP pickup trucks. You've got mortar technicals. You've got ZU technicals, a whole bunch of cool uh, stuff. They brought back the old uh, Humvee back in. It's now black only for insurgents. No other faction gets Humvees. Um, so that's that's a little interesting. A uh, Great Britain got a lot of stuff. They got these new kind of Jeeps, these armored Jeeps here, which are really cool because they come with two open top gunners, which is it's I, I got to say, I do like the model on this. I do like how this looks. Uh, it just looks like a lot of fun. They added a new warrior with a 40 millimeter auto cannon. This thing is absolutely disgusting. Uh, it does a ton of damage. The magazine is not that big, but this thing will shred. So this is going to be a lot of fun to use, and it's going to be a monster on the field. I definitely think um, Britain needed they needed some kind of armor buff because the warriors were just kind of like meh when it went up against anything with a tow uh, or anything with an ATGM. And they added a scout uh, warrior as well, like the little spark. I, th I think it's called the scorpion or something, um, or s the scimitar, uh, the little scout warrior, which is really cool too. Uh, just something fast and, and light. So definitely needed some kind of vehicle rolls for light scout armor for the British. Um, updated a whole bunch of stuff. I don't think there's anything too crazy here. I'm still waiting for OWI to add coax to right mouse button or to at least make it so that if I switch off, I don't have to reload the main cannon again because that's been really annoying. And that's one of the main things I want quality of life fix for armor in squad. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, a whole bunch of fixes, a whole bunch of fixes, a whole bunch of fixes. You can go through and read all the small fixes. Uh, commander stuff, they retweaked the A-10 and the SU-25. They nerfed the A-10 and the uh the su25 a little bit which is okay but they haven't touched the freaking artillery the artillery as cool as it is is just incredibly overwhelming um you can build and build and build and building is a huge part of this game people love building bases people love building fobs but for commanders to be able to just go oh haha ha, you know artillery go boom and just lock on drop their marker drop their arty and have one artillery brush wipe everything in that sector off of the face of the earth you completely remove a gameplay style and i think that we've done it in our mod in the squad ops hardcore mod where we've nerfed the uh, commander artillery but buffed it in, in in a unique way we made it so it's only six rounds of he artillery but it comes up every 10 minutes instead of i don't know every 30 or 40 that is in vanilla you have it more consistently but it's not as overwhelming as it is in vanilla you still be able, you're still able to use it to push assaults back or to um you know prep an assault for your own team you're able to use it to soften up an, an area but it doesn't just wipe off a fob just completely 100 to zero um and i think that's something that they do need to look at just because i think the amount of rounds that are dropped right now from the artillery is just freaking overkill it's just so overkill and it just completely removes the gameplay style like you'll see later on in this video we push an insurgent fob they spend i i don't know how long running supplies running logi building things up building building up the the sandbags and everything to defend the position commander clicks two buttons it's all gone and it's just it's sad um deployable update i'm glad that they're looking at the cost for deployables i think mortars did need a nerf now they're 40 ammo instead of 25 and then they've brought down the hesco defense prices which was very very important um 
because this is no one would build these because it's just too expensive it takes way too many lodger runs to get some hescos up and it's just oh god i feel like these two things need to be worked on hand in hand they need a commander plus deployable update patch that's like just in-depth works all of the values for the call-ins for the deployables and just makes the experience for the commander and for the fob builders a little bit more enjoyable because they need to find that right balance because right now it's just click boom gone uh ui updates i don't really care about too much of this aside from streamer support option but even then right now it's incredibly easy to find where streamers are playing it's just you just look on the map look what team and map is playing and then you find them it's just really really stupid uh, and one of the reasons why i don't like streaming squad too much is because it's very easy to ghost uh what else do we have now um new loading screens are pretty cool and pretty pretty but uh, it's not, not not too much um modding updates so they broke modding to a certain extent like right now we've got our ops hardcore mod working but the maps aren't being detected by the server and they're not initializing so it's expected with a big patch that modding usually breaks and i hope that they get it fixed as soon as possible because that's like one of the main reasons why i play squad right now is just to play our mod i don't really like vanilla gameplay anymore i think i've just kind of gotten over it from 3,000 hours of playing and I just want to see more mods from the community in general make their way into the scene because I think that modding as far as content for weapons, vehicles, maps, uh, different game modes, gameplay styles, even the G Galactic Contention mod, a lot of these mods can add so much life to the game. They just need to have some love and some actual um, effort into pushing them forward and making them extremely accessible. So hopefully they make they fix the modding problems right now and we can get our mods up and everyone else can get mods up. I would like to see more mods just in general on the servers and make it more um, you know accessible to all players. Um, don't care about these map improvements. They improved Albazra. They added a couple of buildings and structures and Hesco defenses to the Albazra airfield up north. And you'll kind of see that in the Mosin clip from uh, today's video. So that's kind of cool. Uh, fixed a whole bunch of stuff, fixed a whole bunch of stuff, fixed a whole bunch of stuff. Um, nothing too noticeable on any other maps. I think, yeah, a lot of fixes, just a lot of fixes, ton of fixes. Apparently they spent all this, uh, this, these six months fixing a whole bunch of stuff that was apparently broken um which is okay uh <laughs> nanny got removed replaced with goose bay no nv2 issues uh there's nothing else that that's it okay so we waited six months um and i'm gonna show you a couple things and the reason why i'm kind of in this funk with squad right now we waited six months ish for this stuff okay i'm gonna show you the roadmap or the planned content that was supposed to be for release for 2020 so let's go back to the original living roadmap uh squad released let's see uh squad released and then we had a couple of content updates here they were on track until the end of august about the end of august i think they're a little slow but they still got this out relatively um on time and then september september q4 2020 we're supposed to get this patch that we have right now 2020 september it is now February, the end of February, in 2021. We did get the gameplay layer overhaul, but it's still missing map voting, which is like the whole reason for the gameplay layer overhaul. Um, we don't have any faction voting or team voting or map voting at all right now. And God knows when that's going to... If this took them six months, I hope... We're going to see these next couple of months here for squad or for OWI are going to be extremely trying. Because if they cannot deliver what they needed to push out six months ago, really soon here, I uh, there, there, there's some problems going on. There's, there's some problems going on. Because there's just weird, really weird stuff here. Because we didn't get vehicle impact uh, damage. Um, we didn't get we didn't get helicopter component damage improvements. Uh, we got the insurgency stuff. Um, we we didn't even get the insurgency game mode overhaul. We didn't get that. We just got the new INS vehicles and the new new INS weapons. We didn't get the OP anvil that we're supposed to get for October. We didn't get the Australian forces forces. We did get the new Great Britain vehicles. We didn't get insurgency overhaul. We didn't get the gameplay layer overhaul. No Black Coast. No USMC. No gameplay layer overhaul. Uh, no amphibious vehicles. No fast rope. So as you can see, there's a lot of concern here. The second reason why I have kind of lost or my, my faith is shaken in the studio right now is because of this, right? In December, Will or, or Merlin stepped down from as CEO from OWI. 
This was like, when I saw this, I was like, God damn, this doesn't look good. This just doesn't look good. Because if your CEO is leaving the project, that doesn't instill faith in, in I think, the community, or, or at least the people paying attention, right? Because if the CEO is saying, okay, it's time for me to move on, God knows, like, he did a great job. Like, I want to I wanna preface this again. I got 3,000 hour, 3, hours out of squad. Squad made it out of early access, and they did release. But this just doesn't bode well for the future of squad, for the future, okay? To this point, good job. They, they, they got the game to where it's supposed to be. But for the future of squad, this shakes my faith. And why this concerns me so much is because there is no other contemporary platoon shooter out there on the market right now. We got Squad, we got Postscriptum, we got Hell at Loose. Two of those games are World War II. We don't have the next thing coming out. The only next thing that's remotely close to what I'm looking for is going to be Operation Harsh Doorstep made by Blue Drake 42. And I'm keeping my eye on that. I'm very excited for that project because that hopefully is going to be the next game that I play. Because this is like, this is just worrying for me. This is just extremely worrying and it should worry you as well. Because God, we got, we got, we got a quarter, if even that, of what we were supposed to get. We had the CEO leave in this last section and we're still missing a whole bunch of features that we're supposed to be getting for, for, you know, 2020. Let's see what we're supposed to, what we're supposed to get this year. Commander resource points up. I, like, I don't even know when this is going to get to. If they're still working on stuff from the end of last year. It's just kind of concerning. And and the fact that mods are still broken now, or mods have just been broken, I don't know when these things are going to get fixed. I honestly can't tell you with confidence that they will get fixed soon, because the last time we had a patch was when V1 was released. So hopefully, like I said before, this next couple of months here are going to be extremely revealing for us as a community on if the studio can still perform because we are very behind here and there are a lot of problems that need to get fixed so i have i want to have i want to have hope i want to have hope and i want to have faith because it's the only game out there right now that does this okay there's no competition this is what we have at this point in time right now i truly want to keep playing squad i do i want i love this game i want to keep playing it give give me a reason to keep playing because as you've seen from the channel recently over the past couple of 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 weeks it's like i really haven't been playing this game and i gotta tell you from the small period of time that i was playing v2 it felt like v1 but i don't have my mod the the factions like insurgents when you get the guns and you get the weapons they're cool and the Br great british when you get the vehicles and you get you get their new optics they're cool but the rest of the game feels exactly like v1 i gotta say like it, it feels i don't get noticeable performance gains there's no game changing systems here it's it's v2 was underwhelming it was incredibly underwhelming for the weight and for the plan and the initial thing going on here it's just it's unfortunate so we'll keep an eye on squad i'll keep checking it out i'll keep playing it i'm gonna keep working on our mod because that that for me i believe mods are the feature for squad if anything else and uh hopefully we'll see the studio make a huge comeback in the next couple weeks next couple of months i am hoping and praying that it gets turned around from here from here we get patch after patch after patch of fixes of systems of updates of of, of stuff and they catch up because that's what's needed right now, I think, to instill my faith back in this game. But after that whole rant, guys, <laughs> that's all I've really got. Um, we're going to go through now and go through a couple of highlights from our stream on Wednesday. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know this was kind of a harsh one, but this is the reality of where squad's at right now. This is how I've been feeling for a couple months now. And I think it's how a lot of the community feels because it's just we want to love this game. We want to play this game. Give us a reason to do so. Um, and, and like I said, I'm not hating to hate. You guys have done a great job up to now, but you can see why we're worried at this point in time. So I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do still want to pick up a copy of Squad at the end of this video here, make sure you check out KarmaCut.com. Any game there, Squad, Hell at Loose, Postscriptum, um, Insurgency Sandstorm, which we've been playing a lot of. The ICMC mod is absolutely killer. Uh, check out KarmaCut.com. You can purchase a game there and it supports the channel at the same time. But that's all I've got for you guys. Uh, we're going to hop into the video now and uh, enjoy the show. Ranging mark, ASAP, please. Stand by. They're 
pushing that mark. All of them. That's a push. Go. Main half is completely, like, screwed. Armor's hitting it. I need an MG watching the hole I'm looking at right now. Dead north of me. across now. Delta, just watch that hole. Yeah, watch that gap. Just watch that gap. Don't peek your head out of it. They're looking at it. Just wait for them to get close on it. Yo, they're crossing hard from the northeast. There's a, they're all in the open northeast. And northwest. Smokes are out. They're pushing in now. Delta. Yeah, they're close. They're close. Yeah, they're close. yeah, 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 yeah. Huge push from the northeast. Huge. At least 30 guys. He's right there, Delta. Right. They're right there. Got one. Got another. Check that hole. Got third. Loading. Stay low. Watch the gap. You see Lime? You see the gap? They're using the gap. Yeah, I saw it. I saw you guys. Careful. Don't stand up. This thing is, dude, this thing slaps. On the wall, on the wall, one, uh, one five, one five. Throw grenades back, throw grenades back. On the wall, one five. Karma, tell the guys around you throw nades. Throw nades, uh, try to get nades across that wall if you can reach it. I don't know if you can. I'm smoked. Careful. Just spawn camping. Sorry, two downs. Watch the gap. Damn, Watch that bunker on the right too. Alright, we have no more ammo currently. Hey, I need a volunteer to get on the wall. On the wall, he's here. down. Good. We have an enemy warrior to the east of our exit. I don't know if there's a, another. Fucking orange smoke. Wait, Watch your ammo, we're out of ammo on the fire. The bunker, the bunker, the bunker on the right! Uh, I'll try to get the bunker up. They're on the tap back to the train. They're pushing. Holy shit, what? Yeah, they're talking names. I think that's the bulldog. Be a medic over here. He's in on the left, he's in on the left. Uh, stutter, holy shit. Alright, I got one of the lodges, so I'm gonna try to keep the guys in the front updated as well. Oh my god, tanks. what is this buggy nonsense? Do I bleed out because of that? Sven, watch this. Sven, watch it! with like a sliver of Able. HP. Able. This is the crappiest position. Coming. Marksman on the left needs a medic. Oh! I think I hit that guy. Dude, this gun is... Whew. Ranging mark. I'm, I'm driving, basically. When you can. I want you guys focusing on the west side of the airfield, okay? Just Anyone 
got medic. I don't know if I got that guy. Careful, I'm on the same spot. Same spot. In the gap, in the gap. He's prone, peeking it. Hey, focus on tracking the challenge. Just remember to the west. Yep. Yeah, they're on the Can't see. This is really good smoke. He's tracked. Yeah, Just be patient. Grab it. Full ammo. There's a radio on the west side of the airport on this hangar I'm on. Do you want I don't to think anyone him? ever placed ah, a fucking medic. Careful. He's got me. Zero. Let's get more health. No one plays medics as insurgents on They're defense. On the it's not again. a thing. Whew. Right side of the Follow diamonds in. Enemy lodging to the north north of the road, I believe. Hold. DMP. Full hold. Three. 13. 13. 13. Where? 13. Load toe. Not looking. Loading toe. Target BMP first. On the right. Moving. No ready. Firing. Switch AP. This is Bradley engaging one times BMP and one times BTR. Switch BTR left. Where? Direct, direct front. Mark. You have eyes? On Mark. How's armor holding? We good? Five percent. Yep. Sweet. All right, push front. Enemy BMP plus BTR down. Good kills. Behind us. Hi. That was a disgusting shot. I there's no business. I had no business landing that. No business at all ever landing that shot. Keep moving in. One in the mosque, bottom side. Left side, near the door. In the mosque, near the door. He's been, he's dead. Push it in. The rally or whatever they're spawning in is near the cheese grater, near the cheese grater. Keep rocking it up, boys. It's a cheese grater compound. Any squad leaders, can I uh, bring the LDN for a radio or hold off? Okay, bring up with me. Hold off for them. Let's get these guys up, Spitfire. I'm on the hab. I'm on a hab. I need bodies to me, please. Dead. 
know, maybe Let's someone ninja to it? I can't tell. Can Monkey, can you dig this? Monkey, dig, 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 dig. Yeah, yeah. Can you get this medic out over here? You get that guy? There's one more. I put two. Yikes. On the south, south. They're on the north. After that, try to get the medic up. We got Harry Potter, Harry Potter this shit. There's like a fucking gremlin. But you got it down to where it can't spawn, that's fine. Negative, but we got that fob. Get the medic up! Wait, have you guys push in? From the west Keep working it, guys. Keep working it. I'll get a better rally for you in a second. There's still a lot of them in there. Shit, he's gonna peek me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I need to reload. He chased me all the way around and no one saw him. Are you serious? We need more people though. Stay in the cab if you get here. Range five. Rangers 550 on smoke. Next to us. Next to us. Next to us. God damn it. He's dead. He's dead. Uh, is that short? Okay, oh, I went over, thank left. god. Smoke down on the gap. Give you guys some breathe, uh, breathing space. In the bunker. In the bunker, please. Get him out of the bunker. Oh, oh, oh fuck! Yeah, he's right on He's right here. Get a frag over this wall. Twisted, get a frag right here, please. Two, I'm a combat easy. MD. I don't have a frag. <laughs> I just traded with this guy. Medic, bandage, fuck. I, I look over the wall and there's just like they're like sitting there like cockroaches just thrown down behind the wall.